welcome back to another All Heart video. So I've been getting a lot of requests from parents for quite some time. I do apologize for the lateness in this video, um, but the request was for more ways to teach your children all about math. So the focus for today's video is going to be all on the decimal system. Now, the purpose of the decimal system is to familiarize your child with the different names of the hierarchies. Now, keep in mind that you don't want to introduce this until your child has a very, very good understanding of the numbers zero through 10. So that means they can recognize the number and they could recognize the quantity in various ways. And if you need more examples for that, I'll go ahead and link down below a video that was specific to that purpose. It's got plenty of examples and I go into detail on how to introduce each of these Montessori based activities. So with that, let's go ahead and get started on today's video. So these are the Montessori materials that are suggested for this presentation. I have the unit bead, 10 bead bar, 100 square, and the thousands cube. If you don't happen to have this, you can always improvise with something at home. This is the one unit bead. Can you say one unit bead? One unit bead. The first thing that I'm doing is just conducting a three period lesson. All that is is having your child repeat after you everything that is on the presentation tray. This is the 10 bead bar. Would you like to hold it? Mm -hmm. 10 bead bar. Can you show me the one unit bead? The second part of the three period lesson is just having your son or daughter show you all of the objects on the presentation tray as you ask for them. Can you show me the 10 bead bar? <laughs> Can you show me the 100 square? 100 square. There it is. Can you show me the thousand cube? Thousand cube. Very good. The final part of the lesson is just to simply ask your child to name all of the different parts in the presentation tray. What is this? A 10 bead bar. The 10 bead bar. What is this? The thousands cube. Good. To help your child recognize the written symbols for the decimal system, we'll be working with the large number cards and conducting a three period lesson. This is one. What? This is ten. Ten. Can you say ten? This is 100. 100. Excellent. And this is 1,000. 1,000. Yes. <laughs> Can you show me the number 10? Good. Can you show me 100? Can you show me 1,000? What is this? What? One. This? Number 10. Number 10. What is this? 100. 100. What? 1,000. What is this? 1,000. 1,000. In green. Yeah. That's right. And the 100 is in what color? What? Red. In red. I and the 10 is in what color? Blue. In blue. And the 1 is in what color? Green. Green. It's important to draw attention to the color coding of each individual hierarchy, as this is going to play a pretty big role as we work on more activities along the way. 
For this next activity, we are going to be counting the decimal system bead materials. You're going to need 9 unit beads, 9 10 bead bars, 9 100 squares, and a 1000 cube. This is perfect to help your child familiarize themselves with the quantities and hierarchies of the decimal system. Now I'm going to be using this color-coded decimal mat. It is 100% not necessary. To start off this activity, you want to place one of the unit bead bars at the very end right in front of your child and simply ask them, how many is this? This is where your child will respond with one. And you can go ahead and confirm by saying, yes, this is one unit. How many is this? Three units. Say three units. Three units. Excellent. Nine units. Can you say nine units? Nine units. Excellent. So what comes after nine? Ten. 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 So as you can see, now we've moved on to the second hierarchy. So you want to continue in this fashion until you've counted off all of the nine 10 bead bars until you move on to the next hierarchy and so on and so forth. So we call this bar a one 10 bar. This is called the two 10 bar. Bar. Okay. What is this called? A three ten ball. Good. What is Four this called? Ten ball. Mm -hmm. Five ten ball. At this point, just continue the activity until your child has counted nine ten bars. So, what comes after nine ten bars? Ten balls. That's right. Ten, ten bars, mm -hmm. which make up how much? A hundred. One hundred. So if this is one hundred, what would this be? Two hundred. Two hundred. Three hundred. Three hundred. Four hundred. Four hundred. Repeat the counting process with the hundreds in the exact same manner that you did with the units and the 10 bead bars. And one more is 1,000. Yes, that would be this one. So 10 of the 100 golden beads would make up... 1,000 Q. 1,000 Q. So what are these called? Units. Units. Tens. Hundreds. Thousands. Excellent. Now is the perfect time to provide an extension to the last activity. And all that I'm doing is laying out all of the materials on the presentation tray in order on a mat. So the first thing that you wanna do is lay out all of the units. And it's important to note that when you are working with the decimal system, the material should always be placed from the largest number to the smallest number. So from left to right, just the same way as it would be if it were written. You wanna lay the bead bars vertically alongside the units, then the 10 bead bars and the 100 squares and just go one by one and count each of them as you work your way down. This would also be the perfect time for you to introduce the wooden thousand cube if you've been using the beaded one and you would just lay it out for your son or daughter just like I did and that way they can make the connection that this is the new wooden thousands cubes, but it's still the same quantity as the beaded one. 
Once your children seem to have a much better understanding of how to lay out all of the specific beads into their specific hierarchies, then you can start playing a little game and you can give them just a small tray and you can ask them to bring you back uh, certain quantities. So you can ask them, um, can you bring me five units and have them repeat how many units they're supposed to go get uh, that way they can make that connection and then they would come back with five units. If they happen to come up with a different amount of units, then just say, oh, you brought back seven units or you brought back eight units. So take these back to the mat and then come back and um, I'll give you a new number to go get. So don't make them feel bad. Don't say, no, that's not the right quantity. Just Tell them exactly how many units they happen to bring back, ask them to take it back, and that when they return to you, you can give them a new quantity. So that's an excellent way for them to um, reinforce the units and their hierarchies in a fun way. To make the game a little bit more challenging, then you can ask them for two different hierarchies uh, that they would bring you back. So you would say like, bring me back three tens and four units and so on and so forth up until they work their way through the hundred and the thousands. So just like we laid out all of the beads on the mat, you want to then move on to this next step, which would be laying out the actual representations of the numbers. So the abstract, you want to go ahead and lay down all of the number tiles in the exact same order that you would the beads. So as you can see here, I have laid out the four sets of large number cards, one set from one to nine, one set from 10 to 90, one set from 100 to 900, and then one set from 1000 to 9000. Now that you've taught your child how to lay out all of the large number cards in order, it's important to teach them how to place them back in order, starting from the very top to the bottom, all in order. So the very next step that you wanna take is in making sure that your child has a good understanding of the association between the concrete with the numbers, so the abstract. So you wanna make sure that they understand that these mean entirely the same thing. So in order to do that, I do have an example of an activity that you guys can do in order to help them understand this concept. So for this activity, I have laid out two different mats. One of them has the quantity in, you know, with the concrete, uh, different tiles and beads and then the other rug has the abstract so it has all of the numbers uh, one through nine and then the tens hundreds and the thousands so I've laid them out right next to each other so once everything has been laid out you want to start off with the units the single units Ask your child how many is this and they would say one unit. From there, you would ask your child to go over to the other side where the uh, number cards are, and you can remove the single units and mix them all up to make it a little bit more challenging. And they'll have to go over to where the one is and have them place it to the right side of that unit. Once you feel like they've gotten this part down really well, then we can move on to the next area. And of course, always start from the very top and then work your way down. Now, of course, once you have gone through each of the individual hierarchies and they understand what the layout's supposed to be, then the next time that you guys bring this activity out, you can have them be the ones to lay out all of the different beads and then place their associated number next to the beads in this order. So instead of you having to do it, they're the ones that are going to lay everything out just like this. So to go one step further after they've laid out all of the different beads and all of the different numbers right next to each other, you could take it to the very next step. And this is, 
I think this is pretty much our final step that I like to do just to make sure that they really have a good understanding of the difference between the number cards and the units and how they associate with each other. So what I would do is I would grab a tray, I would place a little bowl um, towards the side, and then for the first part of this activity, I would include the number tile uh, first, or you can include the, the beads first. So for this one, I included the number tile. And then you would give your child this and you would have them go over towards the mat where you've laid out all of the different tiles and all of the different beads and you would have them bring back the uh, correct quantities. So in this case, since I included the number eight tile, he would bring me eight units inside of the little cup. Now, once you've kind of gone through that round, then instead of providing the tile, I would include eight different beads here, or I would include, you know, maybe one of the hundred square, and then I would ask them to go pick out the correct tile, uh, the abstract tile, and make the connection between the concrete with the abstract. So they would go out and choose the 100 tile to make that connection. Now, the next step after that is having, having them read the quantities together. So in this case, you may want to combine both the tile and the unit. So in this case, I have the 30 tile with two units and teach them how you're able to superimpose both of these so that they're able to read it as 32. And you know, you wanna take this gradually, take it slow, make sure that they are understanding each of these different steps. You don't want to rush it. And you're going to see that little by little, they are going to start making that connection and they are going to be able to distinguish the different hierarchies and they'll be able to tell which one is in the 10 units, which one's in the 100 units, which one's in the thousands units they're going to be able to combine numbers little by little. It's, I just really love being able to use all of these Montessori math materials because they're so tangible. They're able to really, you know, not just see it, um, but just visually they're able to understand these concepts so much better by utilizing these materials. So I hope that all of these examples were very helpful. Of course, if you have further questions, leave them down below. If you enjoy these types of Montessori videos, make sure to hit that like and subscribe. And remember to ring that notification bell so that you are notified of when I next post a video. Thank you guys so much for joining us today and we'll see you back here very, very soon.